what's going on everybody hope you're having a good day if not hopefully this upload can help out your day now with that being said we're going to be using kamaru uzman in ranked we're going to be teaching you guys how to unrank matches with him also how to use him period now let's go ahead and start off with his perks you guys see he has force of nature grinder workhorse wrestling clinic and also predator and for the most part look at his perks a lot of them have to do with him wrestling so ding 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 if you don't know who kamaru usman is you know you you think you want to wrestle now in certain matchups and i'll break this down based off who i fight so if i go against like a gsp my game plan would be different fighting a gsp versus fighting maybe a kobe covington or someone else you know what i mean now let's go ahead and go over his stand-up stats and you see striking speed is only a 92 but you see he has 95 power which is very high the accuracy is fine the blocking is 95 as well takedown defense 97 now the kick speed and the kick power as you see there they are only 88 so we're not really going to be throwing too many kicks with Usman if we do it'll probably be a calf kick hmm. let's go over to his grappling stats and this is where he excels at the takedown is 97 the top control is 95 the bottom control is only a 91 which isn't bad but if you look there you see the submissions is only 84 so using submission with kamar usman isn't really his games uh well isn't really his fight style you know kamar usman is like a you know a lay and i won't say lay and pray but he likes to have the control over damage and the control over the submission as well and then the ground striking is high clinch striking is high and the clinch control is high as well then we go over to his health stats and they're out of this world as well the cardio is 97 the chin is 95 the body health is 94 the legs 94 and then the recovery is 94 as well so kamar usman is it's gonna be hard to put him away you know all right and then we go over to his top moves look at that the jab is level five the single leg is level five the double leg level five the cross is level five the wrestling transition is level five as well crazy so come on think about this Kamaru Usman has a jab and a cross of level five essential strikes that you need when you're using someone like Kamaru Usman okay but with that being said I'm going to go ahead and jump into practice mode and we're going to look at all of his moves okay let's get started now we're going to click start we're going to go down to game help view moves you guys see here level four level five that's crazy the lead hook is fine the rear hook is level four as well if we scroll down the body jab level four okay body straight level three look at the lead the rear body hook is going to be a level four strike and his man this boxing is crazy the haymaker level four look at this kavaru uzman boxing is crazy in this game it's crazy in real life as well. It's gotten so much better. I don't want to say it's crazy like out of this world, but from where Kamar Usman was to Kamar Usman right now, his boxing is crazy, all right? So let's go over to his kicks. And like before, you guys, I can just skim through these. Kamar Usman isn't a kicker. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend throwing too many kicks on him unless, you know, you're throwing like a calf kick or something, all right? Now, let's go over to his clinch and fairly even going down. You see the clinch elbows is a level two, but for the most part, everything is level three. Then we go over to the takedowns and look at this. Whoo! It's five stars everywhere, baby. The double leg, single leg, power single, power double, wrestling takedowns, level five. And the only thing that is uh, less than level five is going to his, be his BJJ slash judo takedowns. But let's go ahead and go over to the ground and his ground straights and then his ground hooks are both level four. So his ground and pound is going to be nasty. Ground knees are nasty. Now his ground elbows aren't that amazing, but still basically the ground and pound of kamar usman is crazy the submissions are not that great as we went through before and then we go over the boxing combos is only level two and honestly i think kamar usman should definitely have at least level three boxing combination i think level two doesn't do him justice and he has level three muay thai combinations for some odd reason but it is what it is guys we're gonna go ahead and jump into the first fight Hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you do, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, alright? Let's get started. Okay, so here we go, Money Mix. He's using Hamza Chimaev. Now, this matchup here, I know you guys love him in real life. I know you guys seen his crazy win uh, in UFC 267. But, this matchup here, guys, what you want to do is 100% keep it on the feet. I've used Hamza in this game. I actually just did a video on him. I promise his hands is not it. <laughs> in real life, he uh, he you know he's got some good knockouts. He gets, uh what was it? Greg Mershart, I believe that's his name. Good knockout. But in ESports UFC 4, his hands are not that great. So in this matchup here, what am I gonna do? Use my wrestling, right, to keep the fight on the feet, and just box him. Just box him. It's gonna be a clinic if I can uh, execute this properly. Now let's talk about the things that he are he is doing. 
talk about things he are doing he's doing here okay he's throwing high kicks i mean i'm sorry he's throwing roundhouses to the body he's through double elbows now we get the rock we're gonna go body body now don't get me wrong guys if you want to wrestle with kamaru usman sh sure but you're the easiest way to win this fight here is striking because um kamaru usman like, like i said his jab cross level five strikes both of them crazy so i'm going to utilize both of those and then also you know just play off of how my opponent is playing but again like i said if you want to wrestle guys go ahead be my guest i mean it's kamaru usman he has some amazing top game hamza doesn't have a great bottom game they go to double elbows but for the most part man it's just best case scenario for this fight you want to keep the fight on the feed man Boom, we get the check there. There you go to double elbows. And I'm gonna fight patient because he's kinda like, nice high kick. Like I say, he's kinda throwing a, a lot of strikes and he's going to gas out if I play this right. Especially if I can, uh, if I can attack his body. Now, notice that he's throwing a jab cross high kick and when you play somebody that does, that does the jab cross high kick, as soon as you see the jab and then a cross, just expect the high kick afterwards and duck it. And when you duck it, if you throw a strike on the same side, right, it will get, it will probably get a knockdown or like a knockout. Now, I know you guys are like same side. What do you mean? So you guys can see how my lead hook is on the same side as his rear leg or his rear hand. That's what I mean. So if he throws a strike on that side, I need to throw that hand. Now, if he throws a lead high kick, right, now I need to throw with the opposite hand because it's on, you know, this side, my rear side, where I throw this through that rear hook. One, two, three, two. And I can see the one. Okay, he's throwing front kicks as well. Double elbows. Yes, we know he's going to throw that. He throws a hook at the boom. Throws a front kick. And the uh, jab cross high kick is coming. He throws double low kick. Again, he can't box with us. He just can't. I can tell you that right now. Hamza Chimaev. That was nice. That was nice. So he's moving his head a little bit too. So what does that tell us to do? Attack his body. He's not really throwing the uppercuts. So what we're going to do is attack his body a little bit. Jab. You know, faint. We're gonna, we got to utilize some feints because we haven't been using them much. And he's been countering us a little bit. So we're going to use our feints. And then we're going to, uh, you know, go to the body. Until he adjusts to that. Again, it's UFC 4. While it is a, a game, you know, that can be exploited, there's still an aspect of making reads and changing, you know, what you're doing mid-fight. And that's what makes the best players different from the best, best of the best, you know what I mean? Like, you play somebody in ranked, right? And they're like, oh, man, they're kind of good. And then you see that same person fight like a real high-level player, and they just get exposed exposed bad because again it's all about making adjustments and adjusting to what your opponent adjusts to and changing up your style boom there goes the jab cross high kick he's probably going to throw a front kick soon there goes the front kick right there okay i tried to duck the high kick again he's his game plan is to throw come here his game plan is to throw body 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 Front kick, yep. Go to the body. One, two. Front kick again. Nope. Double low kick. So he's been throwing double low kicks, right? He's been doing double elbows. And he's also been throwing the front kicks and then a jab cross high kick. And what I'm gonna do again is he gonna jab cross. If he there goes the jab. I thought he was cross and then a high kick was coming afterwards. We rock him here. Again, best case scenario, I could probably go to the block breaking this stuff, but I want to show you guys how to, you know, be look clean in this game. While winning rank match, there he goes the high kick. We drop him here. We're gonna throw two knees to the head because he's gonna block his body. Uppercut at the end. Now, next time he does that right there, what are we gonna do? We're gonna throw a high kick instead. I mean, uh, um, a hook up top instead of down low, and it's probably gonna flash K on him. Now, look, let's see if you guys notice how I'm already, um, I'm kind of like pre faint front kick. No. Yep, there goes the double low kick. You guys can notice how I'm kind of like preemptively putting in the duck because I'm expecting it. And I want to see if he adjusts to that. I want to see if he adjusts to uh, me ducking. Like if he notices that or is he just going to consistently 
try to throw that high kick after he throws that uh that jab and then that cross. Three piece. Now he threw that strike, landed it. Uh, he threw that strike moving forward in the pocket, and I don't recommend that. If you guys notice, when I throw my strikes, I'm not moving my left stick. My left stick is sitting still. That was a nice front kick. That was a real nice front kick. Nice low kicks. Hike, boom, hook up top. I did not try to throw that. I tried to throw an uppercut. Boom, go to the body. Go back to the body. Front kick. Nope. He goes a low kick. And he goes a low kick again. And you can notice that he's actually mixing up his style with what he's doing. He's not doing the same thing. He's not consistently throwing the front kicks. He's not. He goes for the takedown, tries to turn it. We get the uh, denial. But notice how he's, this is a part of adjusting to what your opponent adjusts to and changing up your, what you do. He's not throwing a jab cross high kick anymore. Now he mixed it up. He even threw a jab cross low kick, which is smart. It, it's extremely smart with what he's doing, and I really like it. But it's a matter of how, like, is he going to fall back into those old habits? Nice. There goes the front kick that I was talking about. He kept on... I, predicted the front kick he throws it from far away he doesn't throw anything like that from far away besides the front kick so the second he threw that again and then he threw the rear front kick with that rear leg so when he threw that i slipped to the side boom hook on the same side that he threw that rear front kick case closed like that right there and we're gonna watch this replay so you guys can see what i'm talking about he throws the front kick on that lead side boom hook landed clean flash ko good night hamza Perfect execution. And then the same thing, I promise, if you're in the low rank division, you'll pick up on your opponents doing stuff like this fairly easy. Real easy if you pay attention to it, and you'll be able to get an easy, easy, easy knockout on these guys, man. But what he could have done there was throw a high kick, and that would have really mixed me up. But I, he never threw a high kick, so I wasn't thinking about it. But that's the point of mixing people up, is get them thinking about this, and then switch it up. But unfortunately, he kept the front kicks going. We slipped, knocked him out. And we got the win. But with that being said, guys, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next fight. Let's go. All right. So this is going to be an interesting. And we're actually going against Neptune down. Now, this matchup here, guys, you can outstrike Kobe Covington. You can also attack his body. And just you can you can attack Kobe Covington. You, you have a real big advantage as far as striking. Kobe Covington hands are a bit underrated in this game. But with the wrestling, you can anti-wrestle him. And uh, there you go. Go to the body. And let's see what he's doing. Okay, he throws a knee. We catch his kick. And let's just try to go here. And let's just try to get some ground control. Because I know who I'm going against. I'm going against Neptune down. Real good fighter. So what we're going to do is look for the control right now. And right now he throws these punches. I'm fine with these. Right? I'm fine with these punches. And right now, okay, what do I think he wants to do? G probably go left. I'm going to throw a punch. He, gonna go, he goes to the right. He gets back up to the feet. That was fine. I'm fine with that. But I got a takedown there. And I also gave him takedown threat, right? Okay. One, one, two. Two landed clean, but it should not have because he ducked. Right? Uppercut landed clean. Okay, one, two, go to the body, go top. Again, I just want to keep the fight on the feet. But if I go to the ground, I want to be the guy on top because I don't want to have to, you know, try to get up from under uh, Kobe Covington. Right? So, as you see here, he's utilizing his front kick. Nice front kick going up top. Go to the body. And you notice I'm countering to the body, kind of like Kamar Usman was doing in real life. He was countering with that uppercut to his body. And I knew he was probably going to look uh, look to throw that, like a front kick or something there. So I look for the counter. One, two. Okay. And you see he's throwing a one, two as well. One, one, two. There we go. He throws a knee. Nice. Okay, so he's throwing knees. 
to compensate in case I go to his uh, body. I can tell that right now. Nice. Okay. Okay. Boom, we rock him here. Go to the body. Go up top. Okay. One, two. We block the uh, front kick. He throws a knee. Okay. So right now, what I'm noticing... What I'm noticing is... Uh, Okay. I feel like the knee is coming. Okay. Good round. Good round. So I'm noticing he wants to land that knee. He wants to land those front kick, but he's keeping his boxes short and he's also looking for that counter uppercut. He's really looking for that counter uppercut. And let's check the round stats. So he threw 122. Okay. And I threw 72. So uh, cardio goes on my side, round goes on his side. He goes to take down. He dumps it. Gets me down to the ground. Nice. See what he's going to do. Boom. We get to the guard. See what he's going to do. He's probably going to posture up. Yep. We denied that. Then we're just going to be patient here. We denied that. Boom. He denies this. Let's see. What is he going to do? He's probably going to go top mount. No, he postures up. Going to go side control. Yep. Okay. Boom, he denies that. That was nice. And this dude has some real good top game. So just got to be careful. Boom, we get the half guard. What is he going to do? He throwing these strikes. Lagging a little bit. And I know this guy likes to just hold the top position. So just want to be careful. Oh, I denied that. Okay. We go here. That that was the that right there was the most obvious thing to do, because uh, I'm right here where I'm at on the cage, and if he gets if he gets that position, I can go sprawl. Right now we go here. What is he gonna do? He postures up. I don't think he's going to. Okay. Oh, that was slow. It should have been a bit faster. It's okay. He postures back up. Boom. Get back down to the ground. Let's go to the left. And you can just see the top control of Kobe Covington is very good. And he's, you know, he's looking looking good as far as control. But he's not really taking too many risks as far as on the ground. We did not that. Boom, we get back up to the feet. I don't want to be on the ground. And he's, re he's real good at negating, you know, what I'm trying to do on the feet. Okay. Now I got a lot of catching up to do in this round and i don't think i'll be able to catch up i don't think i'll be able to catch up he shoots a takedown he turns it up and he actually gets it i thought i did not that which is weird but uh okay one minute left let's go to the right boom we go here he's probably gonna posture up okay goes to the side control which is smart And we got 40 seconds left in the round. Boom, he denies that. Boom, he denies that, which is smart. Let's see what he's going to do. Is he going to posture up? Nope, he's going to continue to throw strikes, which is the smart thing to do. 100% the smart thing to do. 100% the smart thing to do is work my chin. Boom, he denies that. Yes, Neptune down is real good at denying transitions. We're gonna, we're gonna, now, what we're going to do here is consistently fake. Okay, boom, he thought I was going to fake again. Here we go. Now, this round was pretty dominant by him. Real dominant. He got four minutes of control time. Really, that's a 10-8. If they don't give it to him, it's because UFC 4. Here we go. Now we got to play catch-up. Now we got to play catch-up. Also, um, nice. Now we got to play catch up. He shoots the takedown. He turns it up. We deny it. Boom. We go here. Now let's throw two knees to his body. 
because I need to work his body. Nice. Nah, he's trying to front kick me. He's trying to play the keep away game. Fake that. Boom, go to his body. Try to throw that counter uppercut. Boom. Nice front kick. And you guys can see, obviously, when it's on the feet, where the advantage goes versus when it's on the ground. Based off who's on top, though. Because, you know, things can change based off who's the fighter on top and who's the fighter on bottom. He shoots a takedown. A single leg. He turns it up. Now, we threw two knees to the uh, body last time. So, we go ahead and go two knees up top. Okay. Nice front kick. Okay. Okay, nice. And I can see that it looks like he's trying to pressure me a little bit. But again, I'm not really too worried about Kamaru Usman's uh, striking. Okay. Double elbows. Nice front kick. Okay. Boom. Fake that. Fake that. He tries to take me down. We roll out of that. Okay. Nice. Nice front kick. Okay. Now I want to attack his body, but the reason I'm not is because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to get hit with an uppercut. That's the only reason I'm not attacking his body right now. Good round. So I think that round is ours. I believe so. Go ahead and check the stats. So he landed eight significant strikes. I landed uh, eleven. I also we also landed the same, but I got a rock. So I'll say that round went to me. It was a good round. Again, I just gotta try not to let him out wrestle me. Okay. Body, body, body. Yep. We did not that. Okay. One, two. Boom. We go with the three up. Shoots the takedown. We deny it. Two knees up top. Bing, bing. And a punch at the end. Boom. We did not this. And you guys can see he's he's panicking. He doesn't want the fight to be on the feet anymore. <laughs> He doesn't want the fight to be on the feet anymore. You can you can tell it right now. And as he as, you know, as he, he shouldn't. We rock him here. We drop him. He's gonna up kick. We're gonna jump on top of him. And we're actually going to get to the half guard and just lift the control, man. Gonna fake that. I know this guy is real good with uh we transition then as we get the top mount what is he gonna do he goes up we deny it okay we're gonna wait a second then we're gonna mount and try to rain down some strikes okay never mind let me get back up <laughs> let me get up all right he evades my strike let's see what he's gonna do we catch his kick go to the body go to the body again nice he throws a knee. He throws a knee again. So now we knee spamming. Okay. Nice front kick. Okay. Okay. We rock him here. 
Go to the body. We catch the kick. Throw a high kick. Boom. And you guys can see. Uh-oh. Boom. That's going to drop him. Yep. That's going to drop him right there. Let's throw a, a hook to the body. Fake it. Pull a pounder. Uppercut. Nope. Didn't work. Hook up top. And you guys can see. Again, this is... This is the difference between these two fighters is I have real good stand-up. He has good, real good ground game. I have real good ground game as well. But why why use my ground game when I can outstrike him? Right? That's what you got to ask yourself when you play these matchups. I don't have to get... I can... You know, I could... If I was looking for a base to strike uh, ground with him, yeah, that's fine. But why do that when I can outstrike, you know, Kobe Covington? You know what I mean? There we go. He's lucky he got a he lucky he got a hit reaction with that cross. But here we go. And you guys can see I and Neptune down is a good opponent. I mean he has 33 wins on me. But if he doesn't get this fight, here th this last round settles it all. If he doesn't get the fight to the ground, he's losing. His chin is also hurting, so he has to be careful. Okay. And you guys can see, he's trying to, uh, there we go. There we go. He shoots a takedown. He turns it, gets me down to the ground. That was nice. That was nice. This is what he has to do. This is the smart thing to do right here. He's going to look for control over the damage 110%. 110%. He's going to look for the control over the damage. And we're just going to, uh, you know, try to do what we do on the feet. Boom, we get the backside. Now I want to get back up to the feet. I can stay on the ground and look for the groundwork, but I want to get back up to the feet. This is where he's not comfortable at. You know what I mean? He's not comfortable on the feet, and he's gas. And he's got. Oh, wow, they gave him that. They gave him that. Okay. He's going to 100% play this game plan right here. Boom, we go sprawl. What is he going to do? Okay, now he's just going to punch my body. He's just going to punch my body. And what I have to do, I'm going to let him do this. And this is fine. But I have to, if I get a knockdown, I'll be good. We got two minutes, probably about two minutes and probably about 20 seconds before the referee stands us up. And we're going to have to go crazy when we get back up to the feet. We're not going crazy. But we got to be cautious of his takedowns, and we got to look to get a knockdown or something. Okay. Oh, I messed up. Here we go. He denied that. He goes to side control. Nice, he denies that. Okay. Boom, we go posture up. He's going to look to hold the position 110%. We're going to go sprawl because we, we ain't got too much time left to do anything. We ain't got too much time left to do anything. So we got to really, it's probably about mm, probably about 52 seconds before the referee actually stands us up and to do something. Now, I'm telling you right now, he's going to be running. He is going to be running when the referee stands me up. Because he knows if he wins this round here, he wins the fight. Now, this is my own. It's my fault because I wasn't able to get the knockdown. But I can tell you right now that he is 100. Boom, we did not the takedown. Boom, we did not the takedown. Wow. Okay. I don't know what happened. Yeah, he's going to posture up just to get back up to the feet. Yep, and and that's gonna be the fight. That's gonna be a fight. That's gonna be the fight, man. Wasn't able to deny take down. I don't know why I was denying them, but it just wasn't giving it to me. And I think that's gonna. I'm gonna skip this. I think that's gonna be his round or his fight right there. He's mad. He's mad. I think he should have 100% won that fight, honestly. But I gotta go back and check the stats.
But my man was diving for legs round five. He went six for 16 on takedowns. Uh, I, I mean, I got five rocks, three knockdowns. He didn't get no rocks, no knockdowns. I got more significant strikes landed. He got 20 more strikes overall landed. But uh, control time, he got seven minutes. Only got one minute. So as we go through the rounds, let's look at the scorecard. So 48-47, I won. Round one, uh, it looks like he won for sure. Round two, um... He got four minutes of control time. He won that one. Round three, I won this one. Round four. Now, round four probably was a 10-8. So, he got one, two, right? I got three. That's what it is. It's because I got three. And really, it should be a tie. It really should be a tie because he got round one, round two, uh, and round five. But round four was a 10-8 round and then round three i got as well and that's what happened and there's no ties in ufc four so they just straight up <laughs> they just straight up made it to where uh that's unfortunate that's really unfortunate they made it to where they just gave it to somebody i assume and i guess i went on damage or something and they gave it to me but ggs to neptune down uh i'm not gonna do another one because i don't want this video to be too long so i hope you guys enjoyed this short little uh two fight kamaru usman video and it wasn't a short video but it's only two fights i usually do three but it's all love it's all good hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe up and turn on post notifications and just to do a quick rundown for anyone that's wondering about this matchup if you can deny his takedowns if you can deny all kamaru um kobe covington takedowns you really can do work on the feet as you've seen here man but I'm out. Y'all boys have a great rest of the day. All right. Peace.